Good afternoon. It's Debbie, the 10 Minute Yogi um, with Homebody's Fitness and Yoga. Today we are not going to do any standing poses. We're going to stay on the floor. So I want you to come down to your mat, find a child's pose, and we'll get started. So bring your knees as wide as your mat, push your hips back to your heels. You can extend your arms, you can keep them under your head, you can bring them by your side, in between your legs, with one ear down, whatever feels good to you. Even um, if you do have blocks, you might even want to put your hands on blocks. So I'll keep my head up just for the purpose of you hearing me, but I want you to keep your forehead down and I want you to allow the knees to open up as far as they can, even if you have to sit on something, and let your belly soften to the floor or towards the floor. And just breathe into the spaces from side to side of your body, from front to back, top to bottom. So as you begin to empty out the breath, you should start to feel a little bit of release of physical tension, hopefully mental tension as well. Bringing your fingers forward, bringing your hips back. So for the purpose of our 10 minute practice, I'll come into this a little bit more actively right here, pushing the heel of the hand forward and the hips back, and keeping that length of the spine from head to tailbone, from side to side. One more breath as we stay here, empty it out, and then rise up to your hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and just tuck your toes, arch your back, dip your belly, cow tilt, or dog tilt. Exhale, chin to chest, round and curl your spine. So for today's practice, if you want to tag on some of the other vinyasa sequences that we've done, you can really bring this into a beautiful, all-encompassing practice. Today will be floor work, rounding and curling the spine again, bringing our body into the directions that it needs to move. And then let's just wag the tail a little bit side to side, just start to feel what's going on in the hips, the shoulders, and begin to make small circles. So I start off small, and then when my body kind of signals that I'm okay with moving more, I'll start to move bigger. Maybe come forward, maybe go back all the way. My toes are tucked or untucked. You see what works for you. Big dancing lion circles, and then let's reverse direction. So start off small again, if you started off small. And then just notice, side to side, is there a difference? Right? What's the difference from side to side? How do we feel today? Because yesterday doesn't matter, and tomorrow we have no idea. And then let's move forward and back, drop the belly, sit back all the way back again to those heels. Come forward, drop your belly, arch your back, and sit back on your heels. Let's come back to that tabletop position. Adjust so your knees are under your hips and hands are under your shoulders. Take your right arm out to the side and really up over your shoulder, look at it. And flip it underneath your left arm, back of the head towards the floor. Reach your left arm forward. Again, my head will be more elevated so that you can hear me. Pressing towards my right shoulder, but maybe it's not gonna get down all the way to the floor. There's a lot of variations here that you can take, so if you're familiar with them, take them. Right now, all I'm gonna do is take my left arm behind my right and bind my arm behind me as I look a little bit more upward towards the sky. I'm working my shoulder towards the floor without forcing it on the floor. And if you have a leg lift, a bind, or anything else you play with, feel free to go there. On the next breath, release your left hand, reach it forward again, and then take your right arm and reach it forward as well, puppy dog pose. Opening up the front of the chest, the chin, the chest goes down. If that's too extreme, put your forehead onto the floor. And then push back to your child's pose, empty the breath. Inhale, rise back up to your hands and knees. Left arm reaches up, look at it and bring it, thread it underneath your right arm, reaching your right arm forward and your left arm to the right. And again, reaching in two directions is fine. If you want a little bit more, you can find the right arm behind you, reaching for your left inner thigh, bringing the back of the head towards the floor, maybe the shoulders down, maybe not. And if you did anything other on the other side, feel free to take that on this side, a little bit of a balance or a bind. Empty the breath, release the arm, right arm comes forward, Left arm meets it, chin and chest towards the floor or maybe the forehead. Breathe in, breathe out. And then push back to child's pose. Bring yourself back onto your hands and knees. Swing your legs around in either direction. 
If you need to sit on something, grab a block or something to put underneath your hips, even a towel or a a blanket will be great and let's put our left foot in front of our right just so that we're all on the same side hands on top of your knees lift your chest up and we're going to take those circles now to the left side and around so I don't care how deep your circles are I do care if your your hips stay connected to the earth so keep those hips down and then reverse it bring it around so our body is meant to, or our spine is meant to move in six directions Typically, all we think about is forward and back, flexion and extension. So come back to center now. Lift your arms up over your head. Reach, 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 reach. Right arm down, left arm up and over, grounding your left hip to the floor. Look up towards your left elbow crease if that's okay for you. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Bring it in. Maybe your forearm touches, maybe not. And come back up. Both arms reach up. Left arm comes down, lift up and over to the left side, looking up at my, left, my right elbow crease. Reach and press that right hip down, maybe the left forearm comes down a little bit. Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, float the arms behind your back, palms to the floor, fingers in either direction. You choose, lift your chest up. Maybe you even lift your eye gaze a little higher, maybe the neck drops back a little bit. Maybe your hips lift off the floor and we push them towards the front of the mat. Lifting your chest up. As you exhale, come on back down. Release it, shake out your legs. Maybe you wanna rub out the knees a little bit. And now we're gonna put the right leg in front of the left leg. Adjust it so that you're sitting above your sitting bones or in front of your sitting bones. Hands back onto your knees, one more breath. Bring the arms up over your head, drop your shoulders down. Take your left arm outside, right thigh, right arm behind you, tense your fingers, lift your spine, lift your spine nice and long, and then exhale, twist and look over your right shoulder. Drop your left shoulder down towards the floor, away from your ears, breathe in, and empty out. And now for a little bit of extra fun, right arm comes up, and we lean over to the left side, drop those shoulders, keep the right hip pressing towards the earth. As you empty the next breath, right arm comes around, lift your chest up, now pull your belly back and do that little cat stretch. As you come up, inhale, bind your arms, eagle wrap, arms come up, big opening for the shoulders. Exhale, arms come down and we release as the next inhale occurs. Left arm behind the back, right arm outside the thigh, lift and lengthen, inhale. Rotate a little bit deeper on the exhale, relax the shoulders down, keep grounding through your sitting bones. Bring your left arm up and over to the right side. Breathe. And then release left arm on right leg. Lift your chest, go back to that little cat stretch, pulling your belly away from your center, or pulling your back away from your center, really belly to your spine. And then come up, riding the arms once or twice, lift the arms all the way up. And empty the arms down, release the arms all the way up overhead. Once again, bring the arms behind you, fingers in either direction. You see what feels better for your shoulders today. Maybe you lift your eye gaze, maybe you drop your head back, maybe you lift your knees and do all of the above. Big stretch in the front of the shoulders, the biceps, and empty the breath, come on back down to the floor. Release your arms, release your legs, shake it out. Good, and then sweep your body around. Come back onto your hands and knees just for a moment. And then place your forearms down, come into a low plank just for the breath. And as you empty the breath, press down onto the top of your pubic bone or above your pubic bone, below your hip bones. Arms are open, spread, pull your chest forward, lift your heart up. Think about your pelvic floor muscles lifting up. Think about the space that right below that triangle that's the bottom of your hips and the top of your pelvic, uh, your pubic bone, lifting it up and pulling it back into your spine. Take two more breaths here. Let your chin come down and release. One more breath. As you empty it all out, back to your child's pose this time. Take your arms by your side, cup your heels, bring your chin to your chest, forehead to your knees, round and curl your spine, lift your hips up off your heels. Rabbit pose, Sarzangasana. There should be no weight in your head, all the way pressing through the top of the foot and shin. One more breath. And then release your hips down. Walk your arms out one more time. And then roll yourself up and lay on your back for your final Shavasana. 
or come to a comfortable seated meditative pose. Bring your hands to your prayer if you're sitting. Bring your arms by your side and your legs straight open. Slow down the breath. Let go. And then using this time to either stay, meditate longer, or come back to a comfortable seated position for everyone. Open up your eyes. We invite the world back to you. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om peace, peace, peace to all. Thank you so much for being here today with the 10 Minute Yogi. So this was a, uh, a non-standing flow, kind of a flow, or just a um, good hatha positioning. So uh, I want you to, you know, you can put these all together with a couple of the other 10 Minute Yogi classes and put a full class together if you have the time. But if you only have 10 minutes of your day, these are great stretches to do, so make sure you get them in every day. Um, stay home, stay healthy, stay fit. We'll see you tomorrow.